Hello everyone! Someone was asking in a group if it was possible to create an Elementor page with a color sheen defined according to an ACF field. Um, I did that uh, a couple of months ago for a client using global uh, CSS classes. Um, I'll show it to you, but there's an, also an, a better way to do it now with a free plugin. So I'll show you both ways. So what we want to accomplish is something like this. So we have a, a page template with a header. Um, and you see in the header, there's a yellow tint. There's a yellow, yellowish border here. And in the content, you can have a bunch of stuff using the same uh, main color. Uh, for example, this is only a, a background of an element, but you could have some icons or whatever you want. On the so so that that was the first page. So, so on the second page with the 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 other uh, custom field selected, so we have a bluish uh, color tint. So there's the um, the background. There's a border here and the same background element here. So the way I did that uh, was through global CSS classes. So I made the first class uh, with the yellow background color and the second class with the blue background color. So I told myself, okay, so now I need uh, a field that the user will be able to select on every pages. So the color is defined here and it's a selector. So you can select a bunch of colors. I've only set two for the moment. So that's the value here of the field and that's the label of the field. I've set the field to return only the value. I could have set to return the label or both, but I wanted the value. So I, I would be able to reuse that as a dynamic tag in um, Elementor. So that's what I did. So um, you can see on that page that where you would select the color. And in Elementor, my thought was at the beginning, okay, so in that element, it's only a spacer, but I can apply a class to it. So I went to apply a dynamic class with my color sheen, but it didn't work. So, okay. So for debugging purposes, purposes, I created a simple uh, heading and I've outputted the value of the, uh, of my ACF field, but for a strange reason, I don't understand if it's an elementor bug, but Elementor only returns the uh, label of the uh, ACF field, even for a selector. It doesn't return the uh, value of it. So, okay, I told myself, let's create a short code that will output the um, the real value, not the label, but the value of the, the, the selected element. So I created a snippet. Um, I simply register my short code, which is this. And then it gets the field value, uh, not the label, but the value, and outputs it. So let's see if this works. So that's what I did here. The short code is there, but uh, and uh, over here I have the same thing. So the the label is the well the the um, title is the uh, short code value. So that works, but here we can see, we can see that it doesn't get applied. I don't really understand why either, um, if it's another bug. Um, but it doesn't work in the preview or in the editor. But in the uh, if we go to the um, output, so the, the real, the live page. So that was the, the first element that didn't work. And that's the short code. So that's what the short code returns. So we can see that it works. We're still far from what I wanted to have, which would be this on a template. So I've decided to use um, more CSS uh, classes. I'll, I'll just remove that here for the moment. So that, that's the solution I have implemented on the client side. So I still have my uh, global color class that defines my accent color and uh, a couple of other colors. Uh, same thing for the second color. And then I created um, some class that I'll be able to use in my designs. So there's a background. It only applies the, um, the background color, so the accent color. And there's the gradient, which goes from the dark color to the accent color. Uh, and uh, here it's the border color, the, the border class. 
which only applies the uh, border color the for the accent. Okay, so now if I go back, um, I have my, both of my classes, but what I wanted to have is um, that it would be applied uh, everywhere, so on the body tag. So I've created, uh, so that's my short code, and that's my, yeah. Okay, so I've created a filter uh, that would add my class to the uh, body. So it gets the, um, uh, it gets the field and then adds it to the array and returns it. So my class, my color class that I've defined here uh, and selected in my page gets applied uh, on the body class. So I'm able to um, use, if, if I add my background, like my background class on an element, it will get that variable and applies it uh, on the element. Yeah, I, I've used the uh, variables, but you could use uh, like the direct value if you want to. Okay, so um, the the result is this. So that that's the uh, um, the template and that the content, the header and the content. So the way I did it is uh, this is my header. So if we have a look at the classes, I've simply added the gradient class and the border class. So the border gives a border here and the gradient gives a gradient from dark to the accent color here. As you can see, it still doesn't work on the um, on the elementary editor and the preview, but if you go to the live version, it works. So yeah, so that, that was the, the, the first, ver the first uh, solution that I've implemented a couple of months ago. But now there's a better solution, which is called uh, style kits. It's similar to the new uh, global styles uh, that Elementor just pushed in version 2.9, uh, but it was there uh, uh, before, and it's uh, I find it uh, more powerful. Powerful. I'm a big fan of uh, style kits. So with style kit, you can create a page like that and quickly change the styling. So the styling could be the typography, um, the padding. Uh, and the colors. So we'll just have a look at the colors for now. But you can have on a page, you define your style kit. Um, and uh, if we go to the main colors or the background colors, I have the light and dark. So the dark would be here and I can switch my dark color to something else. And it would apply, it would apply everywhere on that page. So it was this one, I think. Uh, oh, this one. Yep. So that's for the background color. I could do the same thing for my buttons and my elements. So I could choose this for the button and say this for the um, elements. Uh, so that that was great. And what is great about that plugin is that you can create and save different style kits. So I have uh, style kit one. I can apply. Style kit 2 to that page. So you see the topography and the colors have changed. And I also created a third style over there. So I could create one page and apply one style kit. And then the second page, apply the second style kit. But what I could do also is to have a global style kit if it's the same color scheme everywhere and override it on uh, specific pages. So th that's what I would do to uh, if I wanted to create uh, a page instead of using the ACF field, I would definitely use the style kit feature instead. Yep. So that was the two techniques I used um, to create uh, an Elementor page with different color schemes. Um, the, uh, the the first one I was using before was with the uh, ACF field, but I find the style kit one way better and way more future proof. So I'll need to convert my old client site to the new technique uh, when I'll have some, uh, a little bit of time. So I hope it helped. Uh, contact me if you have any questions. So see ya, bye-bye.